Hey guys, Chris here for Two Months Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you the easiest way of changing strings on Bixby vibrato loaded guitars. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without using too many special tools. Bixby vibratos are a lot of fun indeed. Changing strings on guitars with Bixby's? Not so much. There are a few very simple yet important things you should know to make your life way easier. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. You can change one string at a time if that's what you prefer, but it's not necessary. I like removing all of the old strings at once because this way I can clean the body under the strings, clean on all the fretboards and polish the frets even if I want to. Loosen the old strings. I always cut them to avoid the upper part scratching the body when pulling the strings out from under the Bixby. Put on one string at a time, because you'll have to keep it under tension throughout the whole process. The first important Bixby specific trick is to bend the ball end with your fingers. This makes it way easier to feed it through the bridge and hook it on the string pin. First, feed it underneath the front axle and over the back one. Go around it and stick the ball end on the little pin. From this moment on, you will have to pull the string all the time or lock the ball end, otherwise it will jump off the pin and you'll have to start it all over again. Use a capo to lock the string at the fretboard or put an eraser or a piece of rubber, whatever fits, under the ball end to lock it. You can also just pull the string tight with your right hand while you're winding the string at the machine head. Pull it tight and cut it behind the next tuning peg on guitars with three left, three right machine heads and at the second to next tuning peg on guitars with six tuners in a row. Talking of which, you will wind the strings as usual. Feed it through the tuning peg and wind it. As always, make sure that the strings are wound from the inside to the outside. Last but not least, try to position the strings on the axles to run straight and have the same distance from each other. That's going to help with tuning stability when using the vibrato. Now, let's tune this guitar and take it for a test ride. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left and also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. Damn! Feel better. Feel better. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>